Hi guys, it's Carlos the Ultimate Fitness Training once again and thank you so much for watching the video. Today we are doing a video right in the middle of Stone Park. I'm doing my cardio this morning first thing in the morning and uh, basically I've had some requests um, for this video, for this particular video. Um, as, I, as you guys know I've got a lot of uh, emails every day asking me about doing videos for this and for that. But I tell you what, today I'm doing a video for some of my clients that I've requested um, how do we uh, basically lose effective body fat quick okay and also how we can tweak our diets in order to become our greatest versions right let me help you this could be a vast 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 um, video because obviously uh, the amount of sort of detail you need to understand in order to burn body fat effectively not just body weight because when you lose body weight sometimes you also lose a lot of water and a lot of muscle so let me explain in order to lose body weight effectively okay uh, body fat and body weight effectively you need to basically cut down your calories now you need to understand how many calories you are taking every single day okay um, so uh, as you guys know I'll do macros with my clients which basically is the amount of calories you need to take for yourself and the amount of calorie expenditure you are doing is basically like a scale if you put two kilograms on one side you put two kilograms on the other side you basically is balanced okay if you put two kilograms on one side and you put three kilograms on either side obviously the three kilograms goes down the two kilograms goes up okay exactly the same with calories so if you take 2000 calories and you're only burning 1500 you're storing 500 calories uh, according to my maths that's correct right okay so so if you are storing 500 calories a day so that's gonna go into body fat of its storage okay so obviously this is obviously gonna cause you to obviously store body fat and you are gonna basically gain weight so the best way to actually lose this body fat is to basically cut down on the calories itself. So the best way to cut down on calories itself is to basically cut out all your junk. Now, there is a lot of junk we eat every day, okay? Now, let me tell you where there is a lot of junk that you may just find that is just crisps, bread, sweets, uh, you know, and then obviously you've got the big junk which is pizzas, fried foods, I know. And then you've got the alcohol, and you've got all sorts of different, obviously, chocolates and cereals and everything else um, that out there. Now, there is a lot of eaten sort of garbage out there in these foods. So, like, for example, like in cereals, a lot of the time, I mean, I, eat, I, I, I hear people saying, oh, I eat Weetabix. For instance, Weetabix is full of wheat. It's really bad for you. Okay, so that's not good for you at all. Um, for instance, like the Cheerios and... and and sort of like sort of cereals like that they, they've got loads of eaten sugars so what you actually uh, eating really is um, sugars okay now on the other side as well you've got things like um, uh, milk a lot of you guys probably out there are drinking normal milk now normal milk is basically 30% is mucus of the cow now um, I know this sounds a bit like sort of drastic to tell you but 30% of mucus is actually not good for you at all uh, because what it actually is causing you is causing you your body to create congestion and congestion in your body around your stomach it actually causes a lot of um, of its digestion problems it causes a lot of people to have a lot of wind uh, you burping all day and it's not actually good for you at all and the assimilation of of um, ingredients is not good at all so I definitely advise you to basically uh, change from normal milk into almond milk almond milk is a lot better hazelnut milk is a lot better coconut milk is a lot better in order to actually help you become your greatest version in that aspect now on the other side as well you've got a lot of foods like processed foods that we eat that without realizing that are, are there i'll give you an example if you go to any sort of supermarket again you have a cooked chicken if you have a look at it it actually say state 78 percent or 82 percent chicken so what is the rest are you eating so all these foods that i'm naming right now to you you know i could go on and on and on and on a full of absolutely crap and that's what we eat in every single day so what i'm going to say to you guys is in order to effectively burn body fat you need to cut down these foods literally cut down minimize them or stop them completely okay 
then you start having a right amount of calories that you need every single day this will cause you to be at a, a, a balanced basal metabolic rate and then you're going to start doing cardio now the best way to effectively burn body fat is basically is to burn this this is burning body fat by the way this is not just getting fitter is to burn body fat is doing what i'm just doing can you see how fast i'm walking i'm literally i'm walking i can talk with you guys but if i walk any faster maybe i'll get out of breath although i'm really fit but you, you begin to obviously activate a lot of cardiovascular system so obviously you'll start losing obviously a lot of oxygen so you start needing more oxygen so obviously i'm going to start getting out of breath so if i start running so what i'm doing is i'm doing power walk here while doing this video with you guys so this burns body fat the reason why it burns body fat because it's working between 50 to 60 percent of your maximum heart rate that will effectively burn body fat now this is the best way to burn body fat and i'll do this about an hour a day every single day which is basically gives me a good balance uh, cardio um when i say cardio i mean fat burning for me and that works for me i know exactly how many calories I'm taking every single day then obviously what I do on top of this I do functional training as you guys know you do functional training with me as well so you know exactly what that is um, the guys that come to the fit camp um, and I also do weight training for my clients that obviously come with me and I do all sort of multitude of different sort of uh, exercises too and that strength training multifunctional training and cardio keeps me basically in top top shape now for you guys out there that want to burn body fat as well you gotta just copy and paste that so literally you copy what i do which is obviously get my macro sorted so i've got my calorie intake every single day is the same so if i want to lose body fat all i do i cut down my calories a little bit okay bring down my carbs a little bit cut down my fats a little bit increase my protein so which protects my muscle and then i start doing basically cardio and i do weight training so weight training protects my muscle makes my body anabolic um obviously doing uh, cardio makes my body for multi multi up up there with um with my um, metabolism and it causes basically my body to start burning body fat now body fat is great to have now let me tell you your body loves body fat okay the reason why it loves body fat is you might think well why does it love body fat your body loves body fat and your brain loves body fat because it protects organs so if you think about what do people store body fat the most it's around the middle region right okay they might store body fat everywhere else as well but most of the times in the middle region is because it's where you have the most organs so your body doesn't actually care how sexy or how great you want to look it's basically about survival it's about protection of the organs in order for you to survive so your body doesn't really actually care if you want to look great in that dress it doesn't care how great you want to look in that jeans whatever whatever you know a gear you have it just wants to basically survive so in order to trigger your body to think everything's fine all you do is sort out your macros start doing cardio start doing body fat um, burning body fat through cardio when i say cardio, i say obviously walking body fat i'm talking about body fat guys yeah a lot of guys out there think oh what does it mean what does it mean by body fat what it is if you start running okay running is fantastic and it will burn body fat too but if you're not care if you care if, if you're not careful okay what happens is you start burning too much muscle so if you look at the guys that run long distance running they're not very muscular are they they've got quite a lot of body fat a lot of people that run quite a lot but what they do have when i say body fat they will hold a lot of water retention and they hold a lot of sagginess right because what it is they burn a lot of muscle so if you start running a hell of a lot yes you're probably going to lose a lot of weight but that weight a lot of the times is muscle so not don't take me wrong i run myself as well and i'm not telling you not to run run is fantastic but if you start doing too much running will burn a lot of muscle too so you've got to have to calibrate between do you need to lose a lot of weight yeah if you need to lose a lot of weight maybe you have to do a bit of running as well okay but if you're at that stage where you don't need to lose a lot of weight you just need to lose probably i don't know seven pounds ten pounds a stone maximum power walk is fantastic as power walk protects your joints 
makes you burn body fat effectively. As you can see, I'm going uphill now, and this is literally, I'm spitting at the camera now. Bloody hell, what's, what's wrong with me? Okay, sorry about that. Um, so power walk is fantastic. As you can see now, I'm literally on to the 40th minutes of my power walk. I've got 20 minutes to go. And literally, I feel good. I feel alive. Breathing this beautiful fresh air. Okay, first thing in the morning, before I hit the gym, and I'm gonna do some serious heavyweight training and that will protect my muscles so but with all this said okay um, there's a lot of detail I need to give you and in, in order I always love to say this I'm not gonna tell you in this video what you that are watch that are watching this video what you need to do specifically because I can't see you I don't know who you are everyone's different so everyone's macronutrients um, and calorie intake is gonna be so different because everyone's different so um, all I can say is just pinpoint this if you've got a pen and paper write this down so cut down your calories okay take all the junk away from your diet that means crab cereals first thing in the morning milk changing to almond milk coconut milk uh, hazelnut milk some some of you guys may say Carlos what about soya don't take me wrong soya is okay I'm telling you it's okay but if you google soya soya is not great so I wouldn't advise you to you, but it's better than actually normal milk, okay? Um, obviously, cut down your carbohydrates at lunchtime. Bread, white bread, anything that is white, rice, pasta, leave it in the shop because you don't need it. It's full of gluten. Gluten is gluing your intestine together. Google gluten, you, you'll see for yourself. Do your own research. It's not good for you at all. Cut down your calories, cut down your carbs. Keep your protein high, turkey, lean beef, chicken, obviously fish, salmon, all those sort of fishes, all those sort of meats are fantastic. Try organic. I know some of you guys might say, oh, organic is really expensive. Wait until you get, in 10 years time, the price of a heart attack. What, how much do you think that's gonna cost? Because NHS is actually, if you think about it, it's funding all this for us. But in 10 years, 15 years time, I don't think NHS is going to be around. So you got to think to yourself, you might think, oh, organic is really expensive. Look, you only got one vehicle, which is your body. Look after it the best you can. Because you know what? That's the only thing you've got. Honestly, that's the only thing you own until the last day. So make sure you look after it the best you can in terms of training, the best you can in terms of meditation. So it's your mind. And live happy. Live happy, smile be happy and that's the best way to do it because we've got the body the mind and the spirit look after it that's all it's it because i hear people saying oh that feels really expensive yeah but you know what you go on a night out you'll spend 200 pounds on alcohol you don't even think twice and you feel absolutely shit in the next day so what's that that's a good investment no i don't think it is no if someone think about some organic good food they'll say oh it's expensive oh doesn't sound a really good conver conversion rate for me but anyway cut a long story short so I hope that makes sense in terms of calories. So cut down your calories, increase your protein intake. Do you see those runners there? They're going fast. Uh, I'll catch them up in a minute. Okay, but they're going the wrong way, aren't they? Okay, I think some more runners here. They'll probably think, bloody hell, Carlos, what are you doing this first thing in the morning with the camera on your hand? Um, all I can say is, going back to that, cut down your calories, drop your carbs, okay? Increase your protein intake. Make sure you eat fats as well. Fats, you might think, oh, what fats? Fats, of avocados, fantastic. Omega-3, 6 and 9, you can get that through fish oils. Uh, you can get that through tablets as well. I mean, all of them Barrett, GNC, fantastic. They've got some really good range of good supplements. So I definitely advise you guys, if you can, uh, get yourself into some supplements like that because that will make you, um, your metabolism and your body to feel a lot better as well. Some good vitamin D as well uh, multivitamin min minerals vitamin b6 b12 they're brilliant they're absolutely brilliant to um to obviously create a good healthy stronger version of yourself now one of my clients was actually asking as well about some ingredients i'm hope i hope i'm answering this correctly do you mean ingredients through like uh sauces um and things like that now i hear people saying, oh yeah, I've had brown rice, but then they start putting loads of different sort of condimented sauces in it, which then turns the thing into like 
you know, like a high caloric fast. So I would just say to you guys is look, if you want to be a great version of yourself, don't take it wrong. I mean, you don't want to like just eat leaves and, and lettuce for the rest of your life. Of course, you've got to enjoy your food. They, they, you know, healthy food can be very, very, very tasty, but you've got to be careful a lot of the times is because if you start putting too much sauces into the food, you completely change the, um, the actual uh, structure of that particular food. So I would think, I'll give you an example, I'll give you an example of what I do myself. Brown rice, I leave it as it is. Okay, I might put some garlic, a little bit of garlic, a bit of lemon juice. I, I keep it very organic if you like. Okay, Ch chicken, you can season it with some sort of herbs, you can, but keep away from high condimented foods like people like, I don't know what you guys think, but I hear people who use them like all sorts of like sauces that have got loads of sodium out there. Like if it's a Nando sauce, it's full of absolutely eaten sugars and salts. So that's not good for you. So I'm just giving a little example. So I'll keep away for those. Keep the foods as organic as possible. Eat loads of vegetables. Eat loads of alkaline uh, foods, the likes of cucumber, um, the likes of um, watercress, lots of kale. They're absolutely fantastic alkaline foods that will create you to become a stronger, healthier version of yourself. So make sure you do that. So with all that said, I think I touched a little bit on all the things that you guys have to do. As you guys can see, I'm getting a bit out of breath now because I'm going uphill now. And this is, believe it or not, it's just a slightly uphill, but I'm trying to talk as, as, I'm, as I'm trying to do my fat burning power walk and I'm going to the, I think I went up to the 50th minute now. Doing well, okay. And after this, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hit the gym. We're gonna do back and shoulders today, so it's gonna be tough. Then I'm gonna do lower abs. Lower abs means the hard parts. To get lower abs is hard. As you guys know, the lower part of your belly is the hard thing to get, which is that last bit of uh, lower abs. So, with all that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As you guys know, you can find me on uh, Colors Trainer on YouTube, on Instagram, Colors Trainer 10, on my website, which is ultimatefitnesstraining.co.uk. Um, I love doing these videos for you guys. It's completely free, so you just have to subscribe on Instagram. Sorry, not on Instagram. You can subscribe to my Instagram if you want. Just uh, follow me. But you can go on to um, YouTube, subscribe, send, keep sending me emails about the requests of videos that you guys want. I know sometimes. I can't answer all the emails because obviously there's a lot of emails at the moment. I'm, I'm, I'm getting about over 100 emails a day about can you do the video for this, can you do a video for that. Uh, I do videos about psychology, training, diet, positivity. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a strength and condition qualified. I'm a personal trainer, master trainer. I'm a UEFA qualified football coach as well as a psychologist. So I do a lot of counseling and stuff like that and NLP training. So makes me a better trainer. Love helping people. And all I can say, guys, is stay happy, stay healthy, stay fit. Have a great day. Take care.